Sorry, I'm late. No, it's okay. Dr. Hitch is under stress not in the office. Wow, this place is a dream, by the way. You like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is my dream. I never knew I could accomplish this. Isn't it wonderful? Indeed it is. I told you, you'll pull it off. Yeah. If not for people like you and Inky in my life, how would I have done that? I just get Okay. What is well with you, baby? Shall we make a toast? Of course, why not? This is still a long life, success, good friendship. And to my beautiful Whitney and the success of Whitney's creation. <laughs> Cheers. This is it. Oh, mom, this is the dressing bag. Finish it, please. Come on. What? Okay, we'll finish it tomorrow, okay? Promise, mom. Promise. Good night. Good night. So, go to bed, okay? Give mommy the holy kiss. Tomorrow. Okay. Just hold mommy's scarf, okay? See? Mommy's scarf. Gone to sleep. Yes, finally. I'm sure he prefers to stay awake to listen to more stories than sleep. <laughs> Which one was it this time? Superman. <laughs> I don't know why the boy likes his story so much. He just likes to hear the blasted stories of superheroes. I'm sure you're regretting buying it since you're also tired of reading wow. the stories. Wow. My dear, how did you know? Don't let him hear you saying this, okay? Because we swore our patriotic to superheroes. Shh. I'm not there. He swore to my soul in earth. I will never say. So how did the first day in Whitney Creations go? Ah. It was like a dream. My dream. We had such an influx of customers and um, they kept us on our feet all day long. Jeez. Wow. I know it would be so, since people are always looking for a place to have a new test and experience. That's exactly my intention for Whitney's creation. A new experience in everything, including gluten. Yeah. Well, I give it up for the lady, the dragon lady, who would do anything to make it work. Look, as unserious as you sound, I'm going to give it to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I have to, to go. I will not I haven't edited tomorrow. Aren't you coming? No, just go. I'll be fine. I have a lot of work to do. Thank you. 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 Let's take a look at them with me. It's as if they've never seen anything like you before. You've really outdone yourself here with me. Oh, thank you very much. And you. you know, looking at the faces and seeing all the smiles, it makes me feel like so. I've accomplished my dreams. I'm happy for you. At least, at least now you're finally with us. We can now talk about our future. Future? 
I don't understand you. Come on, Fred, you know what I mean. For how long have we known each other? For two years, if you ask me. Oh, don't you think we're heading towards the direction ever since? What direction? Yeah, this is not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, you're right. This is not the right place, no time to talk about it. So, what do you say? You can go out on Sunday. You can bring your boy along. I'm sure he'll love to spend some time with us. Come on, don't say no, baby. They are alright, no problem. That's my baby. I promise you won't regret it, okay? Andy proposed, that's what happened. What? You mean Andy proposed? Yeah, girl. You really have got to believe it. He proposed. Well, I turned him down. And um, seriously, things just took a downward spin out of it. It was just too bad. Wait, you mean Andy proposed and you turned him down? Anyway, I'm not surprised to hear that. Well, you're not surprised to hear that because I have not shown any inclination or interest in marrying or dating anyone. So, yes. Well, for the life of me, I just can't imagine. Anyone could tell from a distance that Andy wore his heart on his sleeve for you. It was so obvious. I knew that. I really did honestly knew that. And I also know that he is hurting. A lot. But I, I cannot marry him out of self pity. That would not be doing any of us any good. It would be being extremely wicked on him. And I know how this has upset you too. Yeah. But not to worry. I know, man, he will get over it very soon. No, I, I pray so. I pray he does. I really do pray he does. Yeah. I always do. Let me go and check on the window so you can continue writing. Okay. All right. Just take care of yourself, okay? Just take it in. Wow. <laughs> That's very really nice. Thank you. Uh, well, but is this what you call fist in your vocabulary? You should be ashamed. I know there are still some people who enjoy complication where food is concerned. There are still some of us who like them plain and simple, and I am one of them. <laughs> well, I must warn you, I really, really must warn you. You can depend on this for yourself. But do not have the hope of feeding your family, I mean your future family, with this. Don't go shedding tears for me. When I get to the bridge, I'll know how to cross it. I might even be lucky to marry a guy who will do all the cooking for me, you know. With me. What is it again? Nothing. 
What were the eyes? Your reactions. It's not fair. Come to think of it, what are you doing at home by this time? You should be at work. All you do is try to close early today. Well, my assistant is coming up for me. And you know, Fridays have never been a must go to work day for me, so. Um, and I was feeling out of sorts, so I decided to stay back and reflect on a few things that I need mending. Do you have to talk to me about it? Go as far that. Excuse me. Do you know this is the first time in four years we've been together that you're trying to talk about Ugona's father or me? What brought about it? Well, uh, I cannot really say. I, I don't know. I just... Maybe... Maybe my, my heart is telling me that I'm brave enough to face my past. Are you sure this has got nothing to do with Andy's proposals? <clears throat> no. That's it. On the contrary, Andy's um, proposal actually made me realize what a lonely woman I have been for a lot of years and um, the fact that I have deprived my son and I some things that would have made our life better but anyway there's room for amendment talking about men in fences don't you think you're four years too late? <laughs> no no not at all I'm not no I'm not Especially when I'm fighting for my freedom. Freedom? Yeah. Talking about freedom, what exactly do you mean? Dissolving my marriage legally with Ogona's father. That's what I mean. You mean you are not even legally separated with this guy? And he has not been here demanding for his son? What sort of a guy is that? Um, no, no. If I were you, I would not even put it that way. The guy doesn't even know he has a woman. I was pregnant. I was angry. I was acting time. I just packed and left. So what? Yeah, now so you know. That's all about it, Miss Ukako. I'll see that papers are dispatched to your husband's office as soon as possible. Thank you very much. I I am most um, appreciative of all the things you've done for me. But uh, I would um I prefer you call me Miss Atman now. I mean, you said this is this about it, right? It's me. Oh, yes, definitely Miss Atman. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll get to it in the day and put it first. Oh, thank you. Um, a wonderful day to you. Bye, right, you too. Okay, bye. -bye. So, you finally signed and you got a lunch. Oh, yeah. Most is definite, then. Definite. So, the solicitor says it's all over. <sighs> no, thank you. I can just see the sweet fragrance of freedom. It's so beautiful. Finally, my past is behind me so good. With me, why do I have this feel that you're about to open up a stinking kind of world with what you have just done? I don't understand what you mean by that. Really. All I'm doing is 
that's just for me. I mean, I'm trying to get me freedom. I'm trying to give Charles back his freedom. I'm trying to be happy. Courtney, while you were so blessedly magnanimous, did you by any chance tell him about the child he does not know he fathered? Well, if you carefully go through this, you would see that I am willing to share custody with him. Oh, swell. Just do swell with me. I don't just believe you. Do you think this guy is going to be bought over in gratitude to share in custody of a child he does not know he fathered? Thank okay. you. Are you, by any chance, presuming judgment at me or my actions? For quite a lot, you do not know what I went through with Charles for four years. You have no single clue what I went through. Good <laughs> me. I am not trying to judge you here. I I'm so sorry if I sound that way. It's just that um, when I weigh the things you, you, you've told me about your soon to be ex, I, I just really think things won't really work out the way you expect them to. Things will just have to work out the way I want them to work out. They have no choice but to work out the way I want. <laughs> Look, Charles cannot possibly want to live in the facade we call marriage. We stayed in for four years. No, it's another life he wants to live. Neither do I want to live that life too. So, all I'm just doing is releasing this guy so he can move on with his life, so I can move on with my life. Because it's exactly what will make me happy. So be happy for me, girlfriend. Okay? And by then, did you give him any chance within the four years to really tell you how he feels about you? Did you? That's just crux of the whole matter. Are you going to sleep with me or not? Are you going to open the bottle? Anyway, I just hope you know what you're doing. to know that he is a moving chaos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop. Uh, Whitney. I want to apologize for coming on so strong on your divorce issues. I just realized I may have sounded so mean and I'm very sorry about it. Oh no, come on. Look. Okay, you are like a sister to me, okay? And whatever you say to me or do to me does not anger me. Rather, it makes me think and reflect because I know you mean well. Well, as bad as I want to admit it, you were right. There's some things that I know that I didn't do. I didn't do right when I was growing up. But I must tell you that I had a good excuse for them. I was young, naive. I didn't have anyone to guide me. So, why don't you tell me what really happened? So I can understand the situation a little bit and know where to stand in. Was he really an abusive husband? No. no. On the contrary, Charles was um, a loving husband. So? He was... <laughs> was everything that I could dream of. If a woman could say that she loves a man with everything that she is, including her fingernails, that was the way I loved Oguna's father. But it didn't work. And I was very, very devastated. So what really happened? <laughs> That's something I would not like to go into. But I'll, I'll tell you when the time is right. 
But all you should know is that um, I was betrayed by the man that I loved and cared for. Well, enough of the soul bearing, I think. Come on, let's go down to the kitchen and make some mugs of cocoa. <laughs> Doctor's orders. Sure, yes. How are you? Doctor's orders. So move on. So, son, tell me, how is the empire your late father and brother left in your care doing ever since I left the reins to you and retired to the east? Well, it's doing fine, mother, same as you left it. As a matter of fact, we've been making quite some significant profits lately. That's quite heartening to hear, son. You know, I can't tell but. Don't worry about how things are being done. Considering your very unconventional ways of running a business. Mother, you know, it's these same unconventional ways that has kept the company afloat all this while. I mean, we now pay for your lavish spending, your cars, your jewelry and stuff. Hmm? Oh, well, anyway. Uh, Tina, how are your parents doing? Um, they're fine. They send their regards. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing, I mean, after my late brother's death? It's not easy, but... Well, I know you're a strong woman. You can handle it. Thank you. Um, Mother, I'm really tired. I would like to go upstairs and relax. Well, miss, my dear. Good night. Good night. Bye, my goodness. Such a delightful girl, isn't she? Is she? Of course she is. Even if you can't say it. Anyway... That brings me to the main reason I have come to visit you. Well, that's funny, Jazz, because when you called me that you're at the airport, I was wondering, why would you leave your lavish living in the East and come to Lagos? I mean, why? Charles, it shouldn't be a wonder to you, you know. 
you live here, I live in the east, and um, you hardly make out time to come and see me. You know, you're all I have now. So, since Mohammed has refused to go to the mountain... Yeah, 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 yeah ma'am, I know, but really, what is the main reason? Well, the main reason has to do with Tina. Tina? What about Tina? I think it's about time we did something for her. But mom, I mean, she's been well taken care of. She inherited the shares my late brother left behind, and apart from that, I'm making sure that the company takes care of her properly, so I don't know what you're talking about. What I'm saying is that we should do more for her. You see, mom, at this point in time, I, I seriously don't know what you're saying. I'm lost. Well, so... You know, her marriage to your late elder brother, Victor, did not last long. I mean, long enough to have children. And if she if she remarries into an unknown family, you know what that means? She will be taking her shares of the empire into that marriage. And that will be quite a shame. Well, of course, but you cannot stop her from remarrying. I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's totally her choice. I know I cannot stop her, but you can. Me? Yes. Listen, all you have to do is get married to Tina, and everything will still remain in the family. I've talked to her about it, and she's quite enthusiastic. <laughs> really? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Well, I wanted to go and yank that enthusiasm out of her because I'm not going to be part of a grand conspiracy. Well, son, you don't have to be in a hurry to dismiss this. No, mother. I don't want to be part of this idea of yours. I'm sick and tired of your ideas. Okay? Now let's stop talking about this. And um, I am not expecting any mail, but what was the address on it? It says Mwaka and Mwaka Solicitor, but no. It also bears an address, sir. Judging from the look on your face and the way you've been rushing that brandy, I think you have a problem. So you better tell me what it is before you become incoherent due to alcohol. I heard from Whitney today. Or oh, shall I say I heard from her lawyers. Where has she been? But Harcourt. At least judging from the address on the envelope. And she wants a divorce. What? Holy shit. Not the same thing I said. And what does she want after all these years? What, 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 what? I don't care what she wants. All I know is that she hit the existence of my son for me. And I'm burning with you. Come. You're a father. Four years ago, she ran out of me when she was pregnant. And all I get four years after is that I'm a father and she's willing to share the custody of our son. Well, I can understand her wanting a divorce because you guys have been like separated more than you've been married. But does she hate you that much? My guy, I don't care whether she hates me or not, but by the time I'm through with her, 
Oh, she's really gonna see my mind. What are you planning to do, Charles? How can you ask me such a stupid question, Carl? Of course I'm gonna do the obvious. I'm gonna take my son. What about Whitney? What about her? She's the mother of the child. She has feelings. You know that. I don't give two Fs what she feels or not. All I know is that I'm going to get my son. And she can go to hell for all I care. Charles, we really need to think about this level-headedly. I mean, you, you, you have to think coherently about this. You know, sometimes I even wonder whether you're on my side or you are. I'm on your side, but I, I know who you are. You tend to do stupid things at times. Let's just be cool about this, okay? Think about it. Find a solution without doing something stupid. Yeah. That idea did not go down well with him. You see, of my two sons, Charles is the most difficult. I know, mother. But I think there is always a way to handle such a man. Hmm. Besides, I've known Charles practically all my life, so I don't think it would be such a problem. It is not going to be that easy. You know, considering the fact that he left him and got married to his late elder brother. He was his father, mother. And he knows that. Charles told me he wasn't ready for marriage. And Victor was. Besides, Victor was in love with him. I know, my daughter. I'm not saying that your decision was wrong. No. On the contrary, you made a very wise and honorable decision. And that was what endeared you to me, if you must know. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You see, I like a lady who raises more with her head and not her heart. Such a person, I would want to assist my son in running the family business. And that was why I have chosen you, dear. The ball, as they say, is now in your court. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I promise not to disappoint you. See that you don't. It's about time I have some concerns. Hi, son. Hi, mother. I'm good. Hi, Charles. Mother, how is it? Dear? As I was saying, my dear, it's about time I had me some concerns. forgiven me for marrying your brother for you. The only reason you married my brother was because he was going to be the apparent heir to work out for Empire. But little did you know that he had a very short lifespan and that I will become the new CEO. You made me sound like a god again. Is that what you are? Look, I I married your brother because you were not ready for marriage. That is a lie. That is a big lie, Tina. Back in those days, I'll do anything for you. I'll do anything just to make you smile, just to make you happy. I'll... Don't even lie. So... Don't, don't, don't even utter another word. I don't even know why we are talking about this. This is in the past, okay? Just forget it. 
so not even the fact that your mother is hoping we'll mend our bridges and get back together. Forget about my mother. She has no business meddling in my affairs. Charles. Charles. I'm still in love with you. I love you. Believe me. I mean, even your brother knows that. We were about getting a divorce. By the time you returned from his trip with your father, Bowley, he didn't come back. All your tears are not going to move me, so try something else. Charles, why are you making things difficult? Why, why can't you just believe me? Why can't you just believe what? I've gone through a lot in the hands of Victor because of you. What are you saying that my brother wants you to do? In only Madrid. He told me in the French man. You mean my, my, my brother was more treating you? Not only that, he was more treating you. Second bottle of beer, Carl. Yeah, I'm not the one who told me to slow. Carl, this week seems to be a week of unending surprises. What do you mean by that? Well, apart from the fact that I just realized I am a father, I also realized that my late brother was an abusive husband. And who did you hear that from? From the widow, Tina? Carl, please. My late brother had only one wife. Yeah, so what is she still doing there? She should have gone back to her parents by now and seen that she didn't have a, a baby for her brother. That's the same question I asked myself till I saw my mother in my house two days ago with Tina tagging along like a tag boat. Your mom came to visit you? Why? You won't believe it. Try me. She came up with this ridiculous idea that if I marry Tina, the share she inherited from Victor will still be maintained in the family. Can you be? Wow. Your mom's one strange woman. What did um, Tina have to say about it? She was quite okay with that idea. Yeah, I believe that. She won't be Tina if she didn't agree with that. Ah, oh, Tina. And uh, I guess that's where you heard about the abusive husband thing? Yes. Along another line that she still loves me. But wait, how do you know? Uh, you need to know women. You need to know how they think. So, you, you, you didn't believe her, did you? No, no, I didn't believe her, Carl. Well, to some extent. Well, it's like 50-50. I don't want to dismiss her claims, but, you know, I sometimes I wonder why the marriage came crashing. I still can't figure out some of the reasons, you know? You don't even try to find it out. Just let sleep on those lie, okay? Trust me, I have enough problems of my own. Speaking of which, I am going to put Harcourt to shoot some. Going to put Hackard. Right. Shoot some. Why am I scared of asking you what you mean by that? I am going to take my son. I don't think your wife's going to let you take the boy. So I'm guessing you want to kidnap him or something? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I have some kidnapping skills in me, you know. James <laughs> Bond. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I say it. But you know, my relatives are from there. Only chance, so that kidnapping is out. Stop. Um, I'm really sorry to have brought you out of your office this afternoon. Naturally, I'd have come over to your office because it's been over a week and I haven't heard from you. But I just had too much on my head to go through all the lawyer thing, office. I hope you don't mind. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. Um, like I said, I haven't heard from you in one week yet. I was hoping you'd tell me something about my husband. Uh, my soon to be ex. That's the reason why I haven't contacted you, man. You say we've neither heard from your husband nor his lawyers. Uh, okay, I well I, I guess it's busy, you know. It's a, he's very busy man and he travels a lot, so I think that's 
reason why he's not around now. Yeah, I thought as much myself, you know. With the kind of empire your husband controls, it won't be any wonder if he's hardly present in the country. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Like I promised, we'll get in touch with you as soon as we hear from the husband or his lawyers. Okay, thank you very much. How are you? I hope you're having your medication too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, um, would you like to eat something? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Hello, who's there? Hello? Well, I wish I didn't have to go, but I have to. <laughs> Why, baby? I mean, you should have stayed a little more longer so that, uh, you know, your love make me go crazy. God! So that I'll show you something that you've never seen. Yet. You are insulting. But I like it. <laughs> I like a man going crazy for me, you know? Oh, sure does boost the girl's yeah. confidence. Well, you should say that again. And that means you should always come to me so that I'll boost your confidence. <laughs> Anytime, any day. You know what? I'm no. always at your service. I know. Mm. But I do hope it remains that way. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come to. on, baby. But you, you sound as if you don't believe in my love for you. And you don't know how much I love you. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have said that. Oh? Silly me. Anyway, I know you love me. Mm. I know that. <laughs> but I promised Charles' mother that I was going to have dinner with her. You know, I don't want nobody, you know, suspecting my movement. Why should you care? Why? I just can't understand. I, I just can't fathom your reasons for allowing these people practically to get a relationship. No, you, 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 you're a widow for crying out loud. And you should let them know that you have your life to live. Alpha, my relationship with the Okafa is run deeper than you think. I don't know what you're saying, so let's just leave it. Listen, listen, baby, I think you should make me understand. Because I am tired of, of, of this kind of hide and seek game Afam. that both of us are into. Afam, just stop it. I said I don't want to talk about it. Uh, let's just say that the ties that bind us together runs deeper than you think. Just leave it that way, okay? I don't want to talk about it, maybe next time. Huh? Mm -hmm. Be good now. I have to go. Six times, you do the seven times, okay? You can stop at the ten time. I've been meaning to ask Whitney, have you heard from your lawyer? You know, you know what I mean. Um, no, I haven't. But I was there this afternoon and the um, report was not so great. They said that they have no head from you know who. <sighs> That's curious. Do you know what that means? Well, I, I don't know, but my guess is that maybe he must have gone on one of his international trips. He used to do a lot when we were together. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You know all these rich men, their time is never actual. Um, I just, um, I just hope everything just comes and goes fast. The, the pressure is, is killing me. <sighs> all right. Come on, we are finished. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's nice. 
So now you can have your, your ice cream, okay? Yeah, I'm going to have ice cream. I know exactly how you feel. I hope you know that you and your client are going to pay for hiding the existence of my son away from you. And by the time I'm through with you, you will regret being a lawyer. You must be Mr. Charles Okabo. You have to calm down. You're being irrational here. Granted, it's true you should have been notified about the existence of your son. But it was prerogative of my client and not ours. So it's not our fault that she didn't. Do you know what they're telling me is to tell nonsense? And I hope you have advised your client of the consequences of your actions. Because now that I know the existence of my son, I am going to go to court. And by the time I'm done, I'll definitely win. I don't doubt that for a second, Mr. Okapo. Not when we consider your impressive connections in high places. But I must warn you, sir, to consider the welfare of your son. A custody battle has ruined more children psychologically than it has named it. Please don't do anything rash. Young lady, are you in any position to advise me on what to do and what I shouldn't do? For crying out loud, it is that mad woman that you should be talking to, not me. I already know my client. And I know that the welfare of her son is paramount to her at all times. And it's not mine. Eh? Well, if it were yours, you wouldn't be beating down my door, threatening a legal battle for the custody of your son. Barrister, whatever you call yourself, I don't see why you should be bothered. After all, you should be happy because this is going to be a very long legal battle and that means more money for you, isn't it? Or, you think your client can't foot the bill? That's not Mr. Okafo. No matter who you are, I'll not have you come to my office and insult me. If you must know, I am a lawyer with integrity. So I'll not allow you to make my reputation, not even by implications. And with that said, I would like you to leave my office now. Are you sacking Mr. Charles Okafor out of your office? Yes. I think you should go and come back when you've blown off enough steam so that you and I can talk like two civilized people. You are not the civilized one of so this Please leave my office. You're definitely going to hear from me again. Barris or whatever you call yourself. A nice day to you, sir. shouldn't be an excuse for me, you know. Sometimes I just get mad of the fact that I had a son that I knew nothing about, you know, and... No, 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 I'm not I mean, I had a son that I knew nothing about and it's so hurting to know that Whitney could do something callous. I wouldn't want to barge into your private issues by asking what happened. But I can see it's not been easy for you. Yeah, uh, it's not been easy at all. No, well, not by a long shot. Sometimes I think about the time that I've lost. I don't know, I, I, I guess we use that valuable time just for meaningless arguments and stuff. Oh. 
I can see this whole thing has affected you immensely. And I'm sorry about that. But if you love the son of yours so much as I think you've grown to even without seeing him, the more reasons why you have to stay off the cards in this AC. Well, that's true. I've been doing a lot of thinking and I think going to court will do more harm than good to my son. That's more like it. I'm happy you can now see reasons. And owing to that, I am willing to assist in any way I can to see that you straighten out whatever is wrong in the marriage. You see, it's my opinion that the child needs both parents to function properly in the sight. If you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Speaking of which, can I just ask you for a favor? I just want you to help me bring them back home. Please. I don't know about doing it for you. But I'm willing to do it for my client and her son. Believe you me, Miss Ackman is yet too young to bear the DVC title. Um, I just hope I'm doing the right thing. I'm sure you are. Trust me, I'm not going to regret this. Thank you so much. It was a nice day meeting you. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Do you want me to buy you more drinks? No, no, no. Don't worry. 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 Don't Oh, okay. I will do this and finish. Not easy. Charles, what are you doing? Is that the way to respond to your husband after five long years? Oh, shut up. You see, it's been that five years ago when I left you, okay? I'm sure that's when I've still in the first night. Huh? Is that why you hid the existence of my son away from me? Look, I do not know what you're talking about. If you carefully read the papers, you will see that I still that I was willing to share custody of my son with you. Are you listening to yourself with me? You, you want to share custody of a son and that's it? No apologies rendered for denying me five years of his upbringing. Is that it? Charles, I owe you no apologies whatsoever on anything. Anything at all. The, the circumstances in which I left your husband not worry for us. Well, I give it to you. Circumstances? What circumstances? You created those circumstances, so don't you dare justify your selfishness. Yes. I know that you want to hear and sell something. Just tell me when you're here and get the hell out of here. I want to see my son. Exactly. If you deny me the, the, the upbringing of my son, I demand to see him. Charles, I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. No, this is not a good time, okay? Why don't you just go and see my lawyer? Maybe you should just want something for me. Are you leaving the relationship of me and my son at the mercy of your lawyer? I demand to see my son whether you like it or not. Charles, are you trying? I am not threatening you, I'm just making a statement. I have the right to see my son. Oh no, you do not have any fucking right. I'm going to give it to you. And so be very glad about that, okay? Are you denying me access to my son? Charles, like I said, this is total bad time, okay? Just just go and come back to me later. Maybe I'll listen to you. Just maybe. Listen, I don't give two Fs about your moods, whether it's good or bad. You are surely going to hear from me. Trust me. Is that the way to respond to your husband after five long years? Oh, shut up. You see, it's been that five years ago when I left you, okay? I'm sure that's when I was still in the first letter. Is that why you hid the existence of my son away from me? Look, I do not know what you're talking about. If you carefully read the papers, you will see that I still that I was willing to share custody of my son with you. Are you listening to yourself with me? You, you want to share custody of a son and that's it. No apologies rendered for denying me five years of his upbringing. Is that it? Charles, I owe you no apologies whatsoever on anything, anything at all. The, the circumstances in which I left your husband not worry for us, well, I'll give it to you. Circumstances? What circumstances? You created those circumstances, so don't you dare justify your selfishness. I know that you want to hear and sell something, okay? So just tell me why you're here and get the hell out of here. I want to see my son. Exactly. 
is it Jenny? The, the, the upbringing of my son, I didn't want to see him. Just, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. No, this is not a good time, okay? Why don't you just go and see my lawyer? Maybe she just wants something very Are you leaving the relationship of me and my son at the mercy of your lawyer? I demand to see my son whether you like it or not. Charles, are you true? I am not threatening you. I'm just making a statement. I have the right to see my son. Oh no, you do not have any fucking right. Oh, you have and the right I'm willing to give to you. And so be very glad about that, okay? Are you denying access to my son? Charles, like I said, this is total bad time, okay? Just, just go and come back to me later. Maybe I'll listen to you. Listen, I don't give two Fs about your moods, whether it's good or bad. You're surely gonna hear from me. Trust me. Get out. Uh, who is that man that came to visit us today? What man's part? The one we had a fight with. This part is. I don't believe you. What? Mom, isn't he my daddy? This part, I am. Uh, I. You look exactly like the man you should be. Yes. Why shouldn't you come and live with us like a family? Come on, Spotty. Don't worry. Our family is different, okay? And someday, when you're more mature, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay? Promise me. I promise. You won't. Imagine you'd have missed me if you had come a bit earlier. I'm actually just coming to the cuts. Please sit. Um, Barry, sir. My husband, when Charles came, to my house yesterday. And I was wondering if you gave him that piece of information. Mm, I actually gave him the address. Why, why would you do such a thing? Why would you do something like that? Did I ask you to? Well, you of all people should know that Charles is the last person I want to see face to face. I'm sorry, I know that. Anyways, your husband said he never knew you had a son for him. You kept that information away from him. Do you know what that would look like in the courts? That's notwithstanding. You shouldn't have given out a piece of information I did not authorize you to. That was so unprofessional of you. I would have you know that I only acted in your best interest. Your husband came threatening hell and brimstone. He was powerful going into a custody battle if not that I calmed him down. Have you ever told him what was the battle would do to you, son? Well, I only gave him the address, so you two could talk things over on neutral grounds. Well, you should just warn me or something. He chose to be on our words that I did not like it one bit. I'm sorry about that. I like being bland. I just hope that we all are not sorry at the end of the day. Like I said, Charles is a very stubborn man. He's very relentless when real. I don't know what he would do, or what he might do, or what is he even thinking? I don't think so. You know, that's what the impression you have about Mr. Okafo. He still looks to me a very reasonable man. Yeah, very reasonable. That's your opinion. Please do not give out any more information about me or my son to anybody, especially Charles. Please. So am I to assume you still intend going on with the divorce? Was I ever at the risk of stopping it? No, not exactly. But 
It's a pity though, if you don't mind my erring opinion. But I am not paying you for the opinions, Barrister. Because it's really on what I pay you to do, the divorce. Get it over with, so we can all rest and breathe. As you wish, Miss Alpine. Have a good day. Maybe you know, I'm just going to see a new job on the village soon. It's a new thing. Alpha, let's just assume you were joking, okay? Let's pretend that didn't come from you. Listen to me! We won't say that! Listen to me! What's wrong with you? Can you tell me what's wrong with you? Each time I brought up this show committed this relationship, you just turn it around and say, I have no girl right, I can't get no right to settle down with you. No, tell me, what actually is your problem? Yes, I know. I wanted this apartment. Yes, I know that. But listen, I've seen people who, who survive in littleness. Listen, if you really love me, you want to share with me, no matter how little I have. You have to. Please, don't tell me that. I mean, I thought we have defined this relationship right from the very beginning. I thought we both know that we are not in this I have all the plans Yes, I know you have all plans. But let me ask you something. How this plant does not have anything to do with chance of campus and family empires in anywhere. No tell me! You, you heard me right! Because before I was thinking it's just Okapo's family. But now I'm seeing it that's not Okapo's family, but because of Charles! You, you don't know what I'm insinuating. You don't know. But let me tell you, I am tired of the restrictions you're putting on this relationship. We can't even go out there and have fun with you. We cannot! Can we? What is at the sole purpose of this relationship? I mean, is it not to have fun? Does it matter where it is done? It doesn't matter to you, but to me, let me tell you, it matters enough. Listen, I'm tired of this hide and seek games of yours with me. I want a real relationship. Well, let me tell you, if you don't have to give me something, I'm sorry, I, I think you have to do this. Uh, I am going to take that as a joke. Of course, you know no woman comes to me to say so. Yes, you're right. You're taking it as a joke. But let me tell you something. You don't own my life. You don't own my life, okay? <laughs> oh, that is where you're wrong, time. I own every inch. And where do you think you're going? Where you have been to So I am here. I'll be back when you're a better friend of mine. Tina! Tina, better come back here!
me. You have to come home right away. Something terrible has just happened. Ukona is missing. Oh God. right now. Will they please be able to find my child? I think they'll be able to do something for us. Oh, God, let me leave my No! Oh, no. Mutual friend of ours gave it to me, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Look, I, look, I'm not in the mood for your rubbish, okay? I'm not in the mood for your rubbish. I, I am hot. <laughs> just leave me alone. Well, um, before you hang up, I just want to let you know that I have my son in my possession. You said what? And I'm taking him where he belongs. Hold him. Charles, what did you say? No, you listen to me, Whitney. You are in no position at all to make any threats. I am going to Lagos and I'm taking my son along with me. You know where to find me and you have my number now. Goodbye. I will kill you, Jack. I will kill you. I will kill this man. I will kill this man. He came into this house and kidnapped my son. No. That's the more reason why you have to talk to him calmly, okay? Just take it easy. Why don't you come into the house? Breakfast is ready. Ah, thank you, Ma. I really don't think I can hold anything down right now. I am so sorry. I know this is all my fault. 
If I were more careful, you wouldn't have been in this trade right now. Please forgive me. And Kay, I would not have you blame yourself over nothing. It was not your fault. On the contrary, I think it was my fault. I underestimated Charles a lot. Considering the fact that he was here a few days back, demanding to see his son. I, I just, I, I refused. I should have known that he would do something like this. You mean he came here? Yeah. He was here. He somehow cajoled the barrister into giving him the address and he just showed up demanding to see Ogonna. And you didn't let him see the boy. But why with me? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe. But I was shocked. I was shocked. His presence just brought back all the bad memories. All the terrible memories of the four years I spent with him. Why don't you tell me what I want to hear? Why did you leave him? Because I know that if you were not in love with this man, you wouldn't have married him. So what happened all those years back? Tell me something. I loved him. NK, I loved this man. I loved him with, with everything. He was the reason why I would wake up every morning. And I would smile. And I would thank God that I was awake. He's the reason. Well, it wasn't just meant to be. It wasn't. You see, I was just a mere housekeeper's daughter. I, on the other hand, Charles was the wealthy master's son. I met Charles when I was fully grown up. I just got out from school and I was opportunity to do my IT in their family firm. Then he just came back from, from the UK. That's when everything, that's when everything started. Um, although the welcome and happy wishes have been said, but I still think the office is a proper place to welcome you formally because it all started from here. And besides, this is where you're going to take up the reins alongside the brother here. So once again, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Father. Welcome to the company, Charles. My brother, I can't wait to teach you the practical side to the all they have taught you over in America. Well, I can't wait to be a worthy pupil, my big brother. <laughs> Whitney! Yes, sir. Don't know, have wine, help yourselves. So we'll be fast about it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Father, what's her name? Whitney, of course. Have you forgotten all, 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 all of a sudden? That's uh, the housekeeper's daughter, just for me. <laughs> the two Whitney we used to play together with me. Yes. The one and the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I must say she's going to be a very fine young woman. Mm -hmm. Wow.
One time. Well, uh, I've missed Nigeria food, why not? All through the time we were together, Charles never told me that he left me. But I just assumed that he did. If not, he would, he would let me feel a great wealth of emotions that I felt for him. Thank you. My joy knew no boundary when he asked me to get married to him. We had a secret wedding. Barely one week after his brother's wedding, with Carl, his best friend, as the only witness. You didn't? Oh, you did. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. I was young. And I was naive. And I was at the peak of the time when I could do anything for the man that I loved, including bringing down the club to his feet. I loved him. And I'm sure his family raised hell when they found out about you. Ah, I suppose right. You could see their faces. The shock. The anger. When they had it. Especially his mother. How oh, sad. That was when I knew that it was not going to work. You hungry gold digger. Mother. I do respect mother. My daughter has done nothing to warrant being treated this way. And how is that your mother of a cat? Why won't you come to her defense when you were the one that set up all this? Mother, I would appreciate it if you don't insult my wife and my mother in law in my presence. Charles, I'm so disappointed in you. You should be ashamed of yourself for the mess you have made of your life. Darling, calm down, calm down. And let's get to the root of this problem. Chief, can't you see that this situation does not call for calmness? Chief, look at how this idiot has messed up our son's life. It is every mother's wish that the son marries the Yes, it might be every mother's wish, but it is not this mother's wish that you mingle with people of their pedigree. You run off with her without her blessings, expecting us to welcome you with open hands when you come back. Um, please, mom. It is true, Charles, my brother, has missed all big time. But, mom. No. This is not the right to go about creating the hair. I mean, we can talk about this, no? In the next hostile manner. Please. Victor, Victor, Victor! Just keep your sermon to yourself. There is absolutely nothing else to talk about. As far as I'm concerned. Charles, if you know how you put yourself in this mess, get yourself out of it. As for me, this marriage ceases 
from this moment. And you, Josephine, your appointment as my housekeeper has just been terminated. I do not want to see you here tomorrow. Be. Things will never be the same again. The pressure for us to deserve our marriage was too much, especially from his mother. The family house was too hot for us to stay. So Charles moved us into another apartment. There we lived as though everything was well with our world. But we knew that all was not well. So one day, she paid me a visit. What manner of a girl comes to open the door for a visitor when the town tied ground for trust? I don't usually do this. Man. I was about to have you back in my head. You don't. I've never received visitors in this house before, so I just naturally assume that it's my husband. You poor thing. When are you going to realize that? You are not, and never be suited to have some jobs. Yeah, that's what every girl feels about her first experience. You probably might think you love it because it might be the one that is Is it not so? Anyway, before you get disillusioned, just like every other girl before. An offer that you will go to your mother and think about my son. This is a check of two million naira. I'm also willing to sponsor your trip to any country of your choice if you leave my son for good. Two million naira. Yes. Two million naira. Yes. You might think it's. I'm sorry, Mom, but I will have to reject your offer. I love my husband. I made a vow to my husband. I'm all like you think. What Charles and I share, it's unique, it's pure and genuine. Mommy can embrace it. Mommy can. Is that what? What insults? If that is what you feel, that means you are a, a big fool. Madam, I believe that people of the caliber do not hang around fools. So, you have the audacity to ask me out of my own son's house.
I'm so sorry, Rigby. I didn't know you had gone through all this in the hands of your mother-in-law. God, what a deplorable woman. Did you tell your husband all she did to you? Oh, no. No, I couldn't. I wanted peace to reign, so I kept my mouth shut. I did not want him to confront her, thereby dragging so much attention to us. But there was nothing that passed by. And I did not remember how it was. It was as though she deliberately inched those words into my mind to torment me. Torment you? How do you mean? Did her words really torment you? Oh, yes. Yes. Her words torment me so much. In every way possible. It made me begin to look at myself as a loved or cared for, as undesired. It destroyed my physical relationship with my husband. Well, to cut the long story short, I realized that what Charles Smart said was true. I was way out of my way. And you gave in. You packed your things and ran away. Yes, I did. I ran away. But not because of what his mother said to me. I left because I realized that he did not love me. But now, I'm done running. Done running? Yes. What do you mean you're done running? Charles has set a date for me. That he wants me to come to Vegas to look for him. I would go to Vegas. I would put up my fight. And I would come back with what is right for me. My son. So you have decided to go to Vegas, right? Let me go to Vegas, my friend. And let me show the account that I am no younger than the little girl that you saw in it. The girl that the daughter was a coward. Let me show them the corner of me. Well, if you're going to Lagos, then I'm coming with you. You're your fifth novel and you need to complete it. Oh my god, I am a writer. I can write here as well as anywhere. I won't let you go off into the hands of those dragons. Come on, girl, let's go. We have some plans to do. Let's go.
This is Bella. I mean, uh, Esther Bella is, is a co worker. That does not answer my question now. I said, what is going on here? And who is this ho? What are you doing here? There's no one to say. I'm sorry, I, I don't know if you're coming now. I'll... This is Bella. I mean, Bella, Esther Bella is, is a co worker. That has not answered my question, Alpha. I said, what is going on here? And who is this hoe? What are you doing here? Tina, it's not what you think. Do you know what I think? I think. Ah! You don't have to do that. Get out of the way! Don't 
you. What is it? Won't you allow me half peace? Yes, dear. No, no, Tina, please wait. Just wait. Listen. Tina, listen to me. I say you should just listen to me, please. Just listen. I, I, yes, I'm sorry. I know. I am not disputing that I'm a fool. Yes, I am a fool. Yes, I know. But. Oh, now you want to apologize, yeah? Tina, I said I am sorry. Please, just. Well, I don't have anything to say to you. Yes. I'm sorry, I, I just have to do this. If you don't want to come and see me, that means I'm coming over to Kafo's house right now. No, 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 no. Of course you know you can't come to the house. That is impossible. Yes, I'm coming over to Kafo's house to see you. Okay. Look, I am not going to set foot in your house, okay? So meet me in the usual place in an hour. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 I, no, I, I'm okay with that. Yes, I'm okay. No, no, a, anything you say, I'll do it. Hey. Okay, okay, bye, bye for now. Um. Yes, oh my god, yeah. Oh, see, see, I, I, I can't just I, go in there right now.
Yes, come on in. You wanted to see me. So be fast with it. Yes, baby, why have you decided to make life miserable for me? I can see you don't have anything to say. And I'm not in no mood for any social banter, okay? Okay, listen, I, I know I'm a fool. I accept that I'm a fool by bringing in another girl into a relationship. But the truth is that I don't love Isabel, it's she that I love. Okay? Oh, Perry, please. Then why? I mean, haven't I given you everything? Yes. I know you've given me everything. But one most favorable thing I need from you is your love. Oh. I mean, your heart. There you go. Yeah. Okay, listen. Please. I'm sorry. I actually called you here to ask you to forgive me. And I messed things up. Please, I, I'm just sorry. Can you please forgive me? Of course, Silipo, you know I'll forgive you. I hope episodes like this will not repeat this. Hmm? Yes, I cross my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you've done and done it. Proud of you. And your son's a charmer. Well, what do you know? You know, sometimes I just feel like I'm not really a father. I, I pinch myself and I pinch him and I'm like, I'm a father. Yeah, you are. You're a father. And he looks like him. He's like a carbon copy of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> So now that you've done it, what are you going to do next? I don't get you. Talking about Whitney, you know she's not going to give up without a fight. You do, right? Well, you see, when it comes to Whitney, I wanted to feel the same way I felt. You know, like hell. Knowing that I had a son that I couldn't even reach or touch. Oh, well, she's going through that right now. You know she's human. She has feelings, right? She she does? Yeah. Well, the only feelings I know she has are very selfish feelings. You know, the kind of feelings that would let her leave her marriage unnoticed. Sometimes I think she cannot even take care of my son single-handedly. She's been doing that for four years, Charles. And I don't see your son behaving on me, do I? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure with the presence of series of her boyfriends and you know i'm sure my son picking it up from them but i don't think she is the right candidate to raise my son she's not a nun you know i don't remember her taking any oath of celibacy charles besides how are you going to do this with her and the talker and you here oh i know she's going to come yes she's definitely going to come that is why i haven't taken the corner home yet but she's going to come I don't think so. I think rather she's going to slap you with the loss. Really? Well, I'm ever prepared for that because I'm going to be the victor at the end of it. Junior, come back. Let's finish off. Victor Junior! Are you tired of walking, buddy? Daddy, I'm hungry. It's just too good. Mommy will drive me if you buy too good. Um, Nanny, is there any food left? You feel eating the one at all. Well, okay, you know what? Have you ever been to a restaurant before? No, I haven't. So you see, okay, in the next few minutes, we'll go down to the restaurant, all right? Yes, no. Okay. Daddy, I want to see my baby. I miss her. Let me promise you that I am going to yank mommy out of Port Harcourt for you tomorrow, okay? <clears throat> okay. Sunny boy. How is it?
If there's something to say for sure, is that you married well. And do you know I really like it when a girl knows when she's onto something very big? So could you just please stop borrowing the leaf from my mother-in-law's books? Am I? You are! Oh, sorry! Can we face dragon? Oh, sure, let's go. Can we face dragon? Yeah. Sorry, who are you looking for? Charles. Oh, you're looking for the master. Mm-hmm. And my face is away on the trip. Who's around? Mama. Okay, I'd like to see you. What's your name so I can say it? No, no, don't, don't bother. I will make my announcement known. <laughs> what is keeping you, Priscilla? Who is it? Don't worry, I'll introduce myself. Remember me, Mrs. Scar. You. Yes, me. What do you want here? How dare you step your feet into this house after disgracing this family the way you did? Oh, please, just spare me all the righteousness thinging, okay? Like it was not your heart desire that I left you song five years ago. Please. Then why did you come back? Let me tell you something. If you think that my son will take you back into this house and into his heart, you'll be so disappointed. Well, let me be the first to disappoint you. I am not here because I want to get back into your son's life, or your son's house, or this mystery city. Do you call a house? No, that's not why I'm here. I cannot take any more of your insults. Get out of my house or I'll call security to throw you out. <laughs> okay, now, now you have to chill on the security thing, okay? Because we are actually taking a bounce. Why I'm here is because I wanted to tell you to tell your son that if you do not relinquish the hold he has on my son, I will come back here. You trust me, madame. I will be this nice. Get out. Well, you can stay here. When I come back, I'll see. <laughs> Priscilla! Oh, God. Girlfriend. If that was a mother in law, then I'm not surprised to hear that you were once afraid of her. Who wouldn't? Do you know that woman has quite a domineering presence about her? That woman has all the guts to do what she did. Because she single-handedly built the em Carfos Empire. Ah. After her husband died. So, I mean, I don't blame her. Really? Oh, you have a point. Do you know, I just feel like giving you a high five. You were downright amazing in there. Seriously, NK. I have waited four years to face the dragon myself. But seriously, I feel good to myself. I feel really wow myself. Well then, I'm assuming um, your son is not here. Oh, the old witch must be a very good actor to have acted like she didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, no, no. She's not a good actress like that. My son's not here. Charles is not here either. Oh, really? Um, so, what next? Well, I suggest that we just check into a hotel, freshen up. I know Charles' office. We hit the dragon. Head son. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So glad, make me so glad. My worries behind. Wish I could fly away. 
I'll fly away. If you know what is good for you, give me back my son. Okay? Or I would not be held responsible for what I would do to you. Well, 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 who do we have here? If it's not my own wife. You just cut out the bullshit. I'm not in any mood for your jokes, okay? Where is my son? And if I refuse? <laughs> and how does a kidnap charge sound to you? I have someone who can testify against you that you left your comfort zone here in Lagos coming to Polaco to kidnap my son. Look, your family name will save you. I will have every chance in the law house and the police station. Trust me. My name is Charles O'Coffin. One phone call and you'll be left with nothing. Besides, who is negligent here? You leave my son alone and go gallivanting with God knows who? Not like I owe you an explanation to where I went to. It's not like it's your business anyways. Charles, I will make sure I send you to jail. And before the Okafos connection tries to get you out, I will make sure I dent your image. I will make sure that the press have a few days with your name. I will think I hear that you were trying to contest for the governorship. Madam, please, you're not supposed to walk into this office without an appointment. Celestine, it's all right. I want you to meet my wife, Whitney. Whitney, this is my beautiful secretary, Celestine. I'm so sorry, madam. I hadn't realized. You're welcome. Excuse me. What, what's amusing you, Charles? You. <laughs> You've become a spitfire. You know, you're not like this when you're 20. You are calmer, cooler, and sexier. Look, 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 it's a good thing that you now know that I am not the same girl you met five years ago. And you should also realize that I would not let anybody toy with me. Now, where is my son? Don't, don't push me with me. I'm going to take you to see my son, after which we'll talk. Both of us had nothing to talk about. Nothing whatsoever. Whatever we had to talk about ended years ago. If you don't like it like that, you can go back to Patakot without seeing our son. So you see that is my way or the highway. And if I refuse? See, I don't think you're going to refuse. My car is downstairs. Let's go. Give me the taxi. I'll ride behind you. Just make yourself. Yeah, is it? Oh. 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 Um, the more I hear those words, Charles, the more I do not like the sound of it. I don't think that I'm done. Don't go biting off your tail so soon. You see, I know that you have some little motherly instinct left in you, so as soon as you realize your son was missing, you just came running off and finding your son like a guardian angel. Are you in any way telling me that I passed one of the tests? Because if that's the case, you don't expect me to be good. No, I wouldn't do it. Sorry, tell me what you did. So sporty. How have you been? What have you been doing? Daddy took me to the restaurant. Wow, you have been enjoying, haven't you? Do you like the restaurant? Yes. Mm. So, what do you eat every day? Rice. Every day? Yes. And now, who in the world feeds a child with rice every single day of his life? So, let's have another one who feed him Indomie. Finish? That's not the way I bring up my son. Here right now, okay? So, stop picking my Well, since you're here, can we start talking? Suit yourself. I still maintain my standard with nothing to do. You have lots to talk about. I mean, plenty of things to talk about. Well, I do not want to listen. All I have to say to you is that I'm leaving back to Port Harcourt first thing tomorrow morning with my son. You're not going anywhere. You see, 
Okuna is staying right here with me in Lagos. As a matter of fact, he's just about to start school in a very prestigious academic institution. How dare you? You're such an unfeeling bastard, Charles. You think you can just come back into our lives and steal my son away from me? And I'll let that happen? You see, what I'm doing now is nothing compared to what you did to me five years ago. When you ran away with my unborn baby. How could you be so callous, Whitney? How? And you think I'm just going to omit myself from the upbringing of my son? I think you're crazy. I will sue you. You sue me? I don't think you're going to do that with him. I don't think you're going to watch your son go through the walls of or the corridors of, of the courts just like that. I don't think you're going to do that. Besides, if you do that, I'm going to be victorious at the end. What do you want? I don't want anything from you, Whitney. Oh, yeah, there's one thing you can do for me. I want you to move back to Lagos. I want you to take your rightful place as a mother so that we can bring up Obuna the right way. You're asking me to relocate to Lagos? Hmm? You're a big joker. The biggest joker I've ever seen. Because that would never happen. I mean, why you were sitting down and planning my whole life for me? Did it ever occur to you in your little brain that I have a life outside of Guna? A job? Probably a man? You have a job? Tell me more about this job of yours. Is it, is it some mistress to some expatriate that you're doing? How much do they pay these days? I have a big good. How dare you, Charles? How dare you insult me like that? Don't you ever do that to me again! Then release my son and I so we can leave. That way you will never have to see us again. But Okuna is not going anywhere. You have had to weaken to accept my proposal. Yeah, Miss Madam. Why are you doing this, Charles? Tell me, why are you doing this? Why would you just want to put me all through all this? Wait, I can see better now, better now, now, I can see love, wait in the storm. You mean he wants the two of you together again? Yes, that's what he wants. Do you know that guy has developed some bloody ass guts? He's threatening me that if I do not give in to his orders, I would never see my son again. Look at that. What does he think he is? But I don't understand. I mean, I don't know why he wants the two of you together again. I thought you said he couldn't stand the mere sight of you. Yes, he can't. Well, uh, from all I'm gathering, I think what he's trying to do is bring us back together to leave us family. Pretend everything's okay. Put our defenses aside so that Ogunna would have the healthiest upbringing. Oh, well. He has a point. He, he has does. no bloody point to warrant him to dictate what happens in my life and that of my son. I took care of Okona from when he was a baby till now, five years later. I did not need the help of a man. I can still do it to the end. Well, that doesn't totally remove the fact that he needs a fatherly upbringing, especially now that he's growing up. What, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? What do you want me to do? Now tell me. Move in with Charles as husband and wife? That is really dumb. But you don't need to fight to marry. I mean, you guys should just come together and try to work something out to suit yourself where Oguna is. And with the way you're going about this whole issue, you might just lose a girlfriend. This guy has a right to his child. Thank you, you don't understand. All I've been saying, you don't get it at all. Look, I and Charles, we have nothing to work out. We cannot work out anything. In fact, there's nothing for us to work out. I want him to leave me alone. I do not want to encroach in anybody's privacy and nobody should enter my territory and give me orders. You know, this guy is really, really taking the peace and I'm beginning to lose it. Well, if you must listen to me with me, this situation doesn't call for stubbornness. Remember, you don't have what it takes to fight this guy. I mean, this guy doesn't even seem to me like he's bluffing. So what's your problem? Oh, no. I mean, you guys... Okay, trust me. I will call off his bluff. I would tell him that I carried Ogona in my stomach for nine months. I gave birth to him in the labor with excruciating pains. And nobody 
can take what is mine. Nobody. Well, I can see you fighting a lost battle. So, oops. God, just give me the strength. I'm about to kill someone. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God. I can see better now, better now, now. I can see love Ooh. waiting the storm, the storm of life, the heart of love. Mm -hmm. Strength. I don't like this situation. I don't like it one bit. You don't seem to be making any progress towards achieving the, the uh, goal of coming all the way to Lagos. How can I make any progress, Mother, when Charles is nowhere to be found? I can swear to you how many times I've seen him. The worst part is that he doesn't even come home anymore. I don't know what is wrong with that son of mine. You know, at times I wonder if he's actually my blood. Making a spectacle of himself at every given opportunity. But I give him some credit. At least he's showing you some positive, you know, behavior recently. Well, that is what you think. But I know better. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that that slot was here the other day? What slot, mother? The girl who dug her claws into Charles and tricked him into marrying her four years ago. Whitney was here today? Yes. <laughs> what did she want? I don't know. She was saying something about her son. His son. Whatever. I didn't get the head or the tail of what she was talking about. Her son? His son. Mother, do they have a child together? I don't know. That is what I intend to find out from Charles whenever he makes an appearance. I cannot afford to have a grandson with a tainted blood now. Wait. I can see better now. Better now. Now. I can see love. Ooh, the storm of life. The heart of love. Hello, good afternoon. Um, please, may I stay the guest in 205? In 205, you said that would be the child's car. Well, madam, the child is not in. Okay, then, um, I'd like to see the boy and the nanny. Are they around? No, they are in the one. Please, may I know your name? <laughs> Sorry, my dad. My name is Whitney. And um, the little boy is in. I'm afraid you can go up, madam. <laughs> You did not get me, did you? I mean, the boy upstairs is my son. I heard no, madam. When Mr. Kafa left street orders, you're not to be allowed to see the boy. Charles did what? Just ask you. And, and you tell me that? A man will come to you and tell you to tell a woman that she cannot see her son. And you, a woman, can tell a woman that. But aren't you a woman like me? The session is, what is going on here? What seems to be the problem, madam? Why don't you just ask your receptionist? Because for the life of me, I do not understand why I can't go up and see my child. I'm only for the wishes of our guest, that's all. Since the guests are left the structure, better still, I, I, I think you just call Mr. Charles to settle things with him. My God, how could he ever do that to you? I mean, how could he have behaved so callously towards you? That's unfair, you know. Okay, but so embarrassed before, like this. I've never felt so humiliated like this before. When the receptionist opened up her mouth to tell me that I could not see my own son, 
just knew I was going to try and see him. I'm sure. And he was prepared for you. I'm sorry, Whitney, but I told you it wasn't wise to call that guy bluff, but you wouldn't listen to me. Thank you. What am I going to do now? What if he decides to send Oguna abroad? What if he decides to take him out of this state, relocate him somewhere I would never know? What if I could I would never see my boy again? God. Thank okay. you. He's capable of doing such things. How did I even manage to fall in love with a man like that? How? Calm down. Just calm down, okay? Look, I haven't seen this guy, but I don't think he will go to that extent. So don't just panic. Why would I panic? Thinking why wouldn't I panic to me in this life? How could I? Charles knows that Oguna is my life. That is why he's doing this. He's using it to break me. Why don't you just stop worrying yourself and call this guy? I mean, take this phone and call your husband. If it means you moving in with him just to have your son back, then you do so. And make his life a living hell while at it. That's if there's a reason for that, of which I don't see. Then he will be the one to ask for a divorce. So come on, take. Call him. Take. Girl. Are you by any chance going to the nearby supermarket so you can help me get something? Okay. Why are you kidding around? You know that I am not going to any supermarket. Jeez. I told you I was going to see Charles today. Do not date. Um, la, la, pe, la pe something, whatever her dad is. Yeah. You mean La Pea, the Italian restaurant? Exactly. That I hear is all the rave here in Lagos? And one thing. The point is, you are way underdressed. If you intend to step out with this thing you're wearing, girlfriend, you fail. As much as I like what you're wearing, I'm comfortable in it. Besides, I would not want to put ideas into the young man's head. So, this is my perfect dress for this occasion. I'm afraid, huh? Yes. Is that it? Yeah. And you like, excuse me, let me put things on the cup. Go. Quite, um, <clears throat> let me reserve my comments. If you came out to impress me, it has worked. Not only did you impress me, but you had the heads of the other people here turning. Well, if you must know, I don't dress to impress people, I dress to suit myself alone. Whitney, if you're happy with what you're wearing, then I must say you have a problem. Well, because I realized that I did not come here to banter words with you, I'll let that pass. Fair enough. Let's get down to brass tacks. Um, you've accepted my proposal, eh? Yes, I have. And if you must know, I'm doing this only because of my son. Nothing else. Well, I wasn't under the illusion you did it because you still have some feelings left for me. I mean, you stop deluding yourself, Charles. I left over feelings for you. Well, even if I ever had any feelings for you, it was lust. Lust for the man that opened my eyes to the reality of life. Lust for the man that showed me the ways of life. Nothing more. Whitney, are you sure? I'm sure feelings are just lurking around waiting to be rekindled just by my touch. Anyway, you have... I do not have any intentions of you laying a finger on me 
during this make-believe marriage we've had it. Whitney, I see fear. I see fear in your eyes. You're scared that I can make you fall for me again, eh? You know, what you see in my eyes, it's our fear. It is called repulsion for the likes of you. Well, if we're done here, I'd like to take my leave. What about dinner? I'll take it fast on that. Fair enough. All right. Tomorrow, I'll be there in the morning to pick you up. And my son, so that we go and see our mother together, yeah? Yes, we do. But please, be aware that I have already seen your mother. Trust me. This whole thing there's a tumble, there's a rumble in my heart. In time, I set my eyes on you. Oh Lord, you made it so wonderful. Everything is Come on in, the door is open. Ah, you're back already. What happened? The class not make it. He did. I saw him. He talked. And I left. Just like that. What about dinner? I was not hungry. So I left. You must be kidding me. Don't tell me you had the opportunity to test the lapek using for free and you gave it up just like that. Come on, girlfriend, what planet are you from? Ed, where are you from? Where real women think with their head and not their skin. Where women are desperate to leave their excess. Like this. First thing first, um, so what are the situation of things right now? Nothing. He's offering to take a woman and I to his mother's place tomorrow. He says he wants to make a formal introduction between son and grandmother. And afterwards, I guess that we'll be staying there, pretending all is well, until things get worse again, which I know they will. But I cannot wait for it to get bad. <laughs> I suppose you don't feel comfortable going back to the house that held so much unhappiness for you. No. See, sometimes I think about it and I realize that it's not so much about the house but the people who lived in it that made my life a living hell. So no, I cannot be comfortable in that house or any other house that's owned by them. The only thing that worries me is that I do not Understand Charles' intentions. Intentions? Yeah. What are his intentions? I don't understand. <sighs> Same here, I don't understand too. But I think there is more to Charles asking me to come back than he is telling. But the problem is I just cannot figure out the puzzle. Which is strange. Very strange. Well, I've had my own doubts as well. <sighs> I really think this guy still finds you attractive and wants you back for real. Don't be ridiculous, please. Ridiculous? I mean, what's ridiculous about this whole issue? This guy married you, didn't he? I'm sure he must have felt something strong for you to have even married you. Did he send you packing? No. You packed your things and left. So why didn't he come after me? Why wait five years and the knowledge of a son to come looking? With the frame of mind you had back then, I'm sure you would have banged the door on his face or something. Well, to me, it means absolutely nothing anymore. What has happened has happened. It's just the water passing on the bridge for me. Is it really? Yeah. Is it? Don't you think the reason you've not had a relationship or a marriage since after Ogono's birth is because you felt something huge for this guy? Don't you ever think so? No. I haven't. I don't even see where this conversation is taking us to. Do you? Girlfriend is not taking us anywhere, but I don't want you to miss a God-given opportunity to get your husband back. There is no happiness in divorce. Yes, NK. 
Look, I'm in no mood for your sermons tonight. Okay? All I just want to do is get into the bathroom, have a cold shower, hit the bed, and have my sleep. And please, before you start getting all your hopes high, remember that at the first given opportunity, I will run away with my son. You better take it as well, friend. Set yourself. <gasps> but I can just back the road. It's so wonderful that you finally decided to grace us with your presence, Charles. With a slot in tour. Mom, you can try very hard to hold back your friend now. We have a young boy in our house. A young boy for that matter. But I'm sure you remember my wife with me, don't you? And this is our son, Ugona. Ugona say hi to your grandmother. You made the point going so sharp. Well, if you excuse us, we've come a very long way. We need to go back. Uh, Priscilla, could you take our bags up, please? Priscilla! Yes, the bag, please. Hold it right there, Priscilla. Charles, that slut and that brat are not going anywhere except to where they are coming from. I will not allow you to make the same mistake a second time. Not in this life. Well, mother, let me deal with my own mistakes, okay? I don't know why you're bothered. Charles, listen to me. Listen to me for once, will you? Don't allow this woman to deceive you into believing her lies. How are you sure that brat is really yours? This is five years now she ran up on you, remember? Be reasonable, son. Listen to your mother, Charles. Are you going to take Whitney's word for it? I mean, how do you even know she's not lying to you? Hello? Shut up. Look, Charles, I would not stand here and tell you the fact that you and your family will talk about me like I'm not here. Because I am here. And there. If you're so pleased to take my child to a paternity test, then name the choice of your husband. I will go. Not like some people, feather weather girl who sleeps around. Who get pregnant anyhow. Next time you want to talk to my face, know your class. Excuse me. You know, this is to both of you. I do not need a paternity test to prove what my heart already knows. My mother, my wife is not a slut. Ugona is my child. If you have a problem with it, deal with it. My wife and son are here to stay with me. That is the door. If you have a problem, I suggest you walk out. I beg your pardon? If you have a problem with my wife and my son staying in this house, then walk out. That is the door. Seriously, NK, I have never in my life seen Charles that upset before. I swear. I could feel the current oozing out from him. Especially when his mother did not acknowledge Ogona. That hurt him to no end. Who wouldn't be? And you think it's easy to have a child? My God, that woman is so unfeeling. 
I mean, even if she didn't like you, she could have as well accept her only son's child. You seem to be forgetting something. Ogola comes for me. He is my child. Really? So? so you, you, you shouldn't expect the dragon lady to accept him. That would be stinking too low for her. All she sees me as, and all she would ever see me as, is the housekeeper's stuff. I would never change the side. But I don't blame her, really. Friend. That woman is unbelievable. With the way things are going, I'm even surprised to hear she hasn't asked for a paternity test to prove your sincerity. The issue came up. Oh. Oh, yes. And I was so incensed. I offered to give her a paternity test. Hospital? A bitch Charles refused. He did? Mm -hmm. That means he's never entertained the littlest doubt that Ogona may not be his son after all. Charles just knows how to surprise me. He does. Let me cut him by his words. I don't need a doctor to tell me what my heart already knows. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you know, I'm beginning to love to see your husband so much, even if I haven't seen him for the first time. Those words are enough to make you forgive him whatever he's done to you in the past. You think words are enough? Yeah. No. Words are not enough. It's not true. His words cannot heal my broken heart. His words cannot take me out of the things I went through five years ago. What will never be enough for me? Seriously, all I just want to do is get the hell out of the house with my child and leave. How do you want to go now going through what I went through? Especially when I can help. So sure, good. Stand up very strongly. So what chapter are you in now? <laughs> just look at you as if you care. Oh, come on, I care. <laughs> just stop. Stop, okay? Mm. Oh my God. And life is just a jungle. You have a little lamb, little lamb. I suppose I can hear your voice. <laughs> Come on, Scotty Lava. Wait, Is it that you or your son don't care who lives in this house? Oh, you don't want to know whose peace you're disturbing? Mary! Sweaty out of that way. You keep saying it. I do not know that our presence will be stopping you. But if we are, we'll just go upstairs to your room. Or we'll because go out. I hear you haven't gone and watched it. Oh, are you trying to hover around so that Charles will by any means notice you? Notice me. I don't need a Charles to notice me. And in case you've not realized it, I have Charles wrapped around my little finger. Oh, really? Well, yeah. you don't sound like you do. You sound like I am a son I attract to you. Hmm. You can't blame yourself, girl. Please, with me. You, now your son cannot be attracted to me. Okay? And before you go around thinking you're a little and pregnant before, Hello? So don't think you have any stick. Yeah, do you know I forgot? What happened to you, Dina? Did you lose a pregnancy? Or... You were bothered as usual. Everywhere the merry girls, merry girls, merry girls. Did you? I bought it. Because I did not see any mini childs trolling around you. Calling you mommy. You used to. How could you ever? Life. Everywhere at the merry girls, maybe because next time you try that bitch, I will show you what you thought it looks like. Just a minute. And talking about steaks, you see him right here makes me have a high stick above you. You're very lucky. 
everywhere the Mary goes, Mary goes, Mary goes, everywhere the Mary goes, school one day, school one day, oh, that's a school. Wait, I can see better now, better now, now, I can see love. Wait in the storm, the storm of life, the heart of life. Mother. Mama, I want you to know the whereabouts of my wife and my son. How on earth am I supposed to know the whereabouts of a slut and that bastard of her? Charles, I never knew you also expected me to be their keeper. The next time you call my wife a slut, or oh, else, Charles. How long are you going to keep disrespecting your mother because of that useless girl? Well, for your information, she's gone. So move on with your life and allow us to hear what. You help me, Whitney, your wife. She took her son and left. Mother, Whitney's gone. You allowed my wife and my son to leave this house without stopping them? How so ridiculous! It's an obvious fact that I never liked her. And I have my reservations concerning that pastor of hers. So to me, it is good riddance to bad. And where do you think you're going to? Don't tell me you're going after that useless and ungrateful girl. Where I'm going is not your business. This is the house. You have no right to question my movements in this house. Yes, is this the police CID? Yes. I'll do it. I can see better now, better now, now. I can see love. Ooh. Wait in the storm, the storm of life, the heart of love. Mm -hmm. Strength. Well, well, For a man whose wife just got out of exile. Shouldn't you be in the room with her? Hmm? Instead of walking through the hours of the morning. Have you started having problems already with little Miss Lady? The only person I'm having problems with is with you. Shouldn't you be like in your room sleeping? Well, I couldn't sleep just like you. Why are you doing these jobs? Why did you have to go and bring her? I mean, aren't you tired of making me pay for marrying your brother? Nobody is doing any punishment here, sweetheart. I do not bear any grudge against you. So, why don't you allow nature to take its course? Hmm? Do you know I still love you? Just give me a chance. Just to make you. His son would like you to talk to that. Okay, I'll be going with you.
I'd like to talk to you. Okay, um, why don't we talk in the study? I run. If you knew you'd be getting yourself in a situation like the one I witnessed downstairs between you and your sister-in-law, then you should have brought us. Except when you said the Kuna needs a fatherly figure, fatherly influence. But now you would agree with me that the last influence he needs is the one he gets from seeing you humping his auntie. I wouldn't want that for my son. Whatever happened between Tina and I was totally a mistake and an accident. She walked into my study on her own accord. I suppose that the case was on her, didn't help her? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. Listen, you can believe whatever I want to believe, but whatever happened between Tina and I has totally disappeared. She's my late brother's wife. Uh, if I could remember vividly, that you would give anything to lick the very ground that she walked in. So why are you lying right now? Isn't that how you felt for her? Or how you still feel for her? See, not necessarily lick the floor that she walks on. I mean, listen, Tina and I are no more. And we stopped seeing each other. Or we stopped having feelings for each other as soon as she married my brother, okay? Oh, yes, I, I remember. Wasn't that seven days after you got married to me on the rebound? Wasn't that how long it took you to kill your love for her? Now tell me, does that taste like the kiss of somebody who will marry you on the rebound? Don't you ever lay your hands on me again. Don't you ever touch me again. If you want someone to slit your lustfulness for, go to your brother's widow. I'm sure she'll welcome you open arms. After all, you guys are getting married. Why do I have the feeling that whilst you're saying all these words, your heart still yearns for me. In your dreams, you mean? Don't you just wish? Look, I can never yearn for you. Not for a man who would sleep with his brother's wife, get her pregnant, and his brother is still alive. Look, men like you, you do not know where loyalty lies. So you see, my heart can never yearn for you, Charles. Never. I want to hear this story from you. I'm sure you fabricated it, right? Eh? Oh, fabrications. I wish. Ask Tina, she'll tell you everything. Tina told you? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, really? The you... very day while I was leaving your house. Oh, and you believed it? Well, it doesn't really matter what I believe or not. I was going to leave you anyways. Surprise! Yeah. I need to go and feel it. Okay, okay, it's okay. 
Win. Let me be. Charles. Alpha, what are you doing? And what the heck do you think I'm doing? I've just read a text message and I've suddenly realized your relationship with Okavo's family, or should I say Charles Okavo in particular, that you think I cannot understand. You had no right. You had no right. Yes. I may have had no right. But I, that's the only way I can prove my suspicious right. To think that you had a relationship with Charles and he has been the one coming in between us all this while without knowing that it's you, Dina, who has been coming in between us. And because of your relentless pursuit of a married man who is not even interested in you, Tina, you are ashamed of me. You slapped me. Who the hell do you think you are? After all that I have done for you. I know I'm nobody. But I am that man. Who love you and also worship the the, 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 the ground you walk on. And it puzzles me that you give yourself to heart for a man who doesn't even who doesn't even have any interest in you. Really? Well, if he was not, you are not Charles, and you will never be. And to answer your question, that is why I keep going back. Excuse me. Okay, listen, Tina, uh Sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry, please. Listen, Tina, I love you. I know I'm not Charles, but I want to love you the way you deserve it. Please give me a chance. Oh, please, Alpha, just stop it. Stop it. I have endured enough insult from this relationship, so don't go adding insult to injury by your stupid offering of love. Do you know the comfort that I will enjoy as Charles' wife? No, you don't. Okay, listen to me. If you are fine with that, I have I'm also fine. I am okay. But let me tell you something. If you step your foot out of this gate, believe me, I will never come looking for you. Oh, <laughs> like a cat. City of Gamora. Yep. She said what? Exactly. Right. That's what she said. And not only that. You know, I can't believe Tina would tell Whitney that I had sex with her right under 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 uh, Victor's nose, and I also impregnated her. Lord have mercy. That's the same thing I said. But I don't know which one shocked me: the kiss from Whitney or the accusations. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on right there. No out of me. Did you just say you had a case with with me? Is there any chance you forget I said that? Hell no. Hell no. I want to hear all the gory details. I want to know how it started, how it ended, what happened in between. Did you just say you you had a case with Whitney? Uh, I don't know how it happened, but all I can say is that Whitney's kiss is off the chain. Tell me about it. No, no, seriously though, let me tell you something. Whitney's the only person that when she kisses me, it feels like an air travel. But yesterday is almost like, like an earthquake, you know, like, like a tsunami. Man, you still got feelings for that girl, right? Yes. Yes, I do. That's, that's the main reason why I felt in her, you know, that if she doesn't come and live with me, she's not going to see Ubona again. And I don't know whether I just want to still go ahead with this default stuff. Something is holding me back. You know, you guys are like so perfect for each other way back there. I mean... She was so in love with you, and you were like the perfect couple. Sometimes I remember getting so jealous sometimes, you know. I wished I had someone like you guys did, you know. You guys were so perfect. And then it all changed. I don't know what happened to her, but she just changed. I just came home one day, and she was nowhere to be found. Well, at least now we know what happened. If it wasn't for Tina's lies, you guys would still be together. Honestly, she was even ready to leave before Tina paid her that visit, and I still 
can't ask her the reasons why she did that. I mean, let's just forget about this, yeah? Have you heard that new song? Uh, no, I still want to hear about the kiss. No. So what happened? Was that talk? No, what happened? that chicken song, no. no. Yeah, sit down. Hmm. I can see you have finally come to your right senses where you and I are concerned. Well, you've taken the words right out of my mouth and but just that the same phrase has a different meaning when it comes to me. What do you mean? Well, what I'm trying to tell you is that your stay in this house can no longer be tolerated. Why? What did I do? It is not a question of what did I do, it is a matter of what you've done or what you've tried to do. You see, five years ago you lied to my wife. You told my wife so many things about me. How I wanted to have sex with you, how I impregnated you whilst you were still with my brother. Charles, that was five years ago. I had realized that I made a mistake with you brother and I was jealous of her you can't possibly crucify me for what happened four years ago well in view of that fact and in view of recent developments I think I have a feeling you're just developing this sense of jealousy towards my wife so because of that I don't think your stay in this house can no longer be tolerated because it won't be healthy with me and I so you're throwing me out is that it? Well, don't forget that I have as much right in this place and your family's fortune as you do. So, you have no power to send me out. I am your late brother's wife. Well, you see, Tina, I understand the fact that you have rights. But those rights do not extend to this house. You are my late brother's wife, yes. So, because of that, uh, I have just taken it upon myself to get you a house in Lagos. But your rights in this company will still be protected. Don't worry. Now the house comes fully furnished. You have two cars. Quite that's interesting, isn't it? Two cars. You have one Jeep and one Toyota Camry car. Fully furnished house. Petrol, everything. These are documents. Go through, sign them. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Look, I know you're in there, okay? I just want us to talk. Uh, I'm back for me, good, madam. I promise. Uh, excuse me, madam. Anything the matter? No, just mind your business. Alpha, I'm open the door. Madam, stop harassing the door. There is no one in there. The young man moved out yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean by that? That's a scar there, okay? How can you tell me he has moved out? As a matter of fact, he said that I should let you know that he is no longer interested living here. He, he, he equally handed over the car keys and house key to me. He said I should give it back to you. If you don't mind. I um, just Did he tell you where he, he was going to? Honestly, he didn't tell me anything. He said he is no longer living here. I hope all is well. No.
Charles Okafo. I want to know why you threw Tina out of this house. If that is what you heard, mother, then why are you asking me? I cannot stand your sarcasm, Charles. Tina told me that you asked her to leave and I want to know why. Because I can no longer endure her presence in this house, mother. She's a beast and willing to destroy my marriage. Is that girl again, isn't it, Charles? I know she's the one that has put you up to this. So that girl has finally succeeded in turning you against your late brother's wife. Even to the extent of making her homeless. Mother, leave with me out of this. Really? She has nothing to do with it. For the record, Tina will not be homeless. I've arranged for something special for her. Yes. By putting the company's shares in jeopardy. <coughs> Charles, what is wrong with you? Are you out of your senses? Don't you know that you have put that girl in the public eyes and away from her own watching ones? Your watchful eyes, you mean, mother? I can see you have more concern about what will happen to the shares when she finally finds favor in another man's eyes. Well, I'm not. You should be concerned, Charles. Because if you pause for a moment and forget your obsession with that Whitney of a girl, you will also realize what you stand to lose. You know what, Mother? I think you're more concerned with the shares. So then why don't you just buy them? You just willingly and gladly accept any offer. Because she's a greedy bitch. And where do you think you're going? I'm not done with you yet. To be with my wife and son, they need me most. I want my marriage to work, Mother. This is not happening. This is not happening. It's not happening. This I know. Oh, the Bible tells me so. It's a good thing to hear me now. Say I make a good you are strong. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells me very much for making this weekend a memorable one for him and for me too. No, no, I should rather thank you for letting me be a part of his life now. Even though I miss most of his growing up days. I'm sure he was a very naughty baby just like his father. Yes. He was. It was the most miraculous gift I've ever seen. Are you going to cry? I'm not crying. <laughs> Let me see. You do not have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. You made it clear to me five years ago that your preference was prostitute. That hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. 
kita sendiri. Listen, I'm gonna leave. But before I leave, I just want to say one thing. Just one thing. That was five years ago with me. And I love you very much. You know, forever, ever do love you. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, Charles! You don't know what love is, so don't talk about it. You're incapable of feeling it. Leave my room. Get out. Get out.
Am I to understand by those tears of yours that you are gradually coming to your senses? This is my house, remember? And also Charles's will inevitably be my sons after Charles. Wow. I can see that you are already planning my son's demise so that you can claim my wealth for that son of yours that I still doubt belongs to Charles. What do you want? I have come to leave you around in exchange for my son's freedom. This is a check for two million naira. Take your son and disappear like before. But this time, make sure my son does not see you again. If I was so mad, and I've been laughing out my ass right now, because I can swear that that's the same check you gave me five years ago. Does it mean that you always anticipated my coming back? Was I wrong? Cold diggers like you always come back for what they can get. Well, it's such a pity that this gold digger never increases in value in your sight. Tell me. Why are you so against Charles and I being together? Why don't you want your son's happiness? Whitney, the love my son has for you will only bring him sorrow. Just like his father almost destroyed himself if I had not come along to rescue him. Be sensible. Take this money and leave us in peace. Nice one with me. Yes. Nice decision you made here. Investing on a gun now at this early age is a very nice decision. Well, I had to put the woman's money to good use too. <laughs> What am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? Good day, madam. Good day. Hi, uh, Mr. Kola. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me on the shop, Yeah. I really appreciate it. So, can I have a document? Yeah, these are the receipts for the one million naira sharing and sounds like Okay. The certificate will be ready in a month's time. Okay, so all I have to do is just sign below. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it very ready because uh, with one for it. Okay, I'll I'll Yeah, yeah. I'll do another one. Um I'm I'm so sorry, um in case this is this book for counseling. Mr. Colin. Nice meeting you. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, madam. I, I really wish you could join us for lunch or something. No, I have a lunch. Oh, okay. Uh, thank okay. you. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Um, okay, I found what I want to eat. I'm just going to take the deep fried pork. Brown sauce. <laughs> Thank you. 
But I hope everybody's enjoying your meal. Charles, mm -hmm. how are you? Do you like the food? Perfect is the word. You see, I derive so much joy from cooking and everybody enjoys it. I mean, that's my greatest kick. Please. Um, excuse me, mother-in-law. Did you say anything? Yes. I thought so. I said, why don't you go straight to the reason you called us here? Instead of putting us through your stupid chit chats. I'm sure Charles wouldn't want to know what gives you the kick and neither do I. Mother. Oh, come on, Charles. Do not question your mother. I mean, she's right. Of course. There's a reason for that big celebration. And since she's bust up, I better just go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. I swear, you do not even know what I'm going to talk about. This is so silly. I don't see how telling us that you're leaving should call for this dinner party. You know what? Call me when you're ready to stop this production. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I am not going anywhere. I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to give you the pleasure of fulfilling your beliefs. I must have been a fool five years ago, but I'm no longer a fool. I'm done running. Can somebody please tell me what is going on here? Hello? Five years ago, your mother gave me a check of two million naira. A pay of check to leave you alone. What do I never do? What I sure did was she wanted me to do. Then I came back two months ago into your life. Of course, it did not sit well with your mother. No, no, no. It did not. So she came back again last night with the same sum of two million naira that she gave me five years ago asking me to leave you is this true well Charles, i did what i did for you i mean can't you see that Mother. all i can see is a carlos woman a woman who will make sure that she sees her son sad rather than happy. Charles, Charles, do not, do not blame your mother, okay? Because this woman right here does not know what love is. She can understand why you love me the way you love me. And that's why she thinks that the love that you have for me is going to destroy. But little does she know that the only thing that can destroy love is distance. You mean, I... Yes, I love you. Charles, I love you so much. I have never stopped loving you. Even when I saw you with, I still loved you. Sorry for not realizing the truth in time. Sorry for that not love. I'm sorry for not believing that you could hurt me. You bloody liar. Charles, don't let her make you believe the crap she's feeding you with. She took the two million naira pay off and agreed to leave you. Yes. Of course I collected the money. I did not collect the money five years ago. And you still saw me to be one stupid judgment. I wouldn't give you the privilege of thinking that about me again. So I collected the money. You little gold digger. Of course that is always the way you see me. 
So rejecting your payoff would not mean anything to you. It would not change the perspective in which you look at me. But you know what? I put your money into good use. I open a card for your grandson and I bought shares for him too. A son that you never acknowledged. A son that you never loved. And of course, this dinner was also your money. So now tell me, Mrs. Okafo, how does it feel to taste your own money? How? I cannot stay here and swallow your insults. Charles, if you don't send this girl away, I guess I have to leave this house. Charles! Charles! Very well then, I'll leave. Even if it means sleeping at the airport till I'm able to get a flight on my way. And I will never come back. Sorry for the Sorry for hurting you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Totally. The most important thing right now is that we have realized our mistakes. We have realized my mistakes. So I can never make them again. I see uncertainties in so many lives. It's all in the hurt I feel inside. I hide the letter. 